Hi everybody, I'm Kristen with Tech Nation and I'm here in the GE booth today with Jeff Jones to talk a little bit about what GE is offering. Jeff? Yeah, Jeff Jones, GE Healthcare, HTM in-house development leader. Excellent. Jeff, we've been touring the booth this morning and uh, some questions have come up that we want to address for our audience. The first is, the U.S. market is moving from traditional full-service contracts towards in-house. Some studies indicate as much as 80% or more of IDMs have some form of an in-house team. How is GE Healthcare responding to this trend? Yeah, we, great question. We recognized this shift about five years ago and began investing in resources and now have a full organization dedicated to supporting the in-house uh, segment. Additionally, we're providing once proprietary tools like predictive analytics, advanced service manuals, and offering applications like Service Shop and MyGEHealthCare.com to, to offer a one-stop service experience for our in-house partners, which we are showcasing in our booth this weekend. That's great. I'm sure they're going to appreciate having that all in one portal. The drive towards in-house creates workforce challenges, such as retirement, retention, and workload. What is GE Healthcare's view of the situation, and what can be done? Yeah, we're experiencing the same phenomenon. We have experienced ATMs leaving the, leaving the market or leaving the industry and a new generation coming in. And we want to address that new generation with technologies that they're comfortable with, like simulation, virtual reality, and augmented reality to provide that gaming-like experience so that they can train on a platform that, that excites them. Exactly. Gaming's huge right now, so I'm sure that's getting a lot of buzz. GE Healthcare has been in the service space for decades and is one of the largest OEM providers of full service contracts. The in-house world runs counter to that, which would seem to be the complete opposite direction. Can you explain a little bit? Actually, we found it to be somewhat complementary. If you think of service on a five to one scale, five being low risk where a hospital is having a third party or in some cases GE service their equipment and one being full risk. Most in-house organizations fall in that three to two, a shared service model, if you will, where they're taking first call and then GE's coming in, in our case, GE would be coming in right. with uh, backup labor, parts, and training. Excellent. Excellent. And all along the way, what we're trying to do is help them empower, empower them on the path they choose. Exactly. That's great. So you talked a lot about analytics and advanced tools earlier. What's the most important and significant investment that an in-house organization can make? Without question, it's training. Yeah. Uh, and the way we're addressing it is up at our healthcare institute, we've invested about $120 million in GE and multi-vendor equipment in a 240,000 square foot state-of-the-art training center and laboratory. Um, we also have a multi-vendor college and a soon-to-be-announced college of HTM. All along wow. the way, providing an opportunity for in-house HDMs to train alongside GE FEs. That's incredible. I've been to that facility in Wisconsin. It's beautiful. I uh, would encourage you to go if you have the opportunity. But for today, Exhibit Hall is about to open here at the Amy Exchange. We want everyone to come by and stop by the GE booth. That's booth 1227. They also have uh, booth 250 over in the AR Experience. Come by, say hi to the team, and learn more about what GE is offering here. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.